Is there anything else that needs to be washed? I'm fine. I'm Haru. I'm a YouTuber and my channel is about beauty and cosmetics. It feels so good. I can understand why this place is famous. Even the shampoo feels good. I needed topics for my YouTube and came looking for beauty salons. And I've waited six months to reserve my spot at the salon. Arujan, I heard you have your own YouTube channel. Can you advertise this place for us? He's Masaharu san, the hairstylist. He's a respected hairstylist who used to work at a famous salon and was able to successfully open his own place. But the way he talks? I'm so glad his last name wasn't Fukuyama. Hey, what are you doing? Answer the phone. I know he's doing it on purpose. He's definitely trying to be like Masaharu Fukuyama. Oh, you don't need to pay today. And for next time, you don't need reservations either. But in return, please advertise perfectly about this place. The interior, the cut, everything. I can't do that. What? Wait, so you're being cocky because you have a little influence on people. What? If I openly lie and advertise about it and people find out I was getting free treatment, I'll be flamed for sure. Masaharu-san's got a strong character and I don't like him very much. Hey you, pick up the pace. Do you want to get fired? I'm sorry sir. He doesn't have to get that mad in front of the customer. I guess when you have your own shop, you have to be strict. But people that work under him are all looking tired. And on top of that, I can tell Masaharu-san being nice only in front of me. When it's that noticeable, it doesn't feel right. I guess this salon is not as good as the reputation. Maybe I shouldn't do this for my video. Ah, my plan ended in failure again. I guess it's not that easy. While I was thinking about it, a rare customer came in. A woman in wheelchair? I can't see her face, but... Are you the respected hairstylist, Masaharu-san? Um... The respected hairstylist, Masaharu. That would be me. Did you have to pose there? Um, but you'll be able to make someone like me beautiful too? With my hands, every woman can transform into a beauty. I, the respected hairstylist, will expand the domain. <gasps> uh, annoying. The woman seems to have a story. But when Masaharu-san took off her hat... Wh what is this? Uh, that is... When the hat was removed, the girl's hair was revealed. Her hair was so damaged and she even had some parts falling out. But my hair turned out like this because of my illness. The girl in the wheelchair started talking in tears in front of the mirror. I bet she came to this beauty salon thinking this was her only hope. Beauty does give confidence in girls. I totally understand. This respected hairstylist he does have a stronger character, but he is good at his job. She is in good hands for sure. Masaharu-san, it's time for your domain extension. Excuse me, but we don't allow monsters here. Give me a break. M monster But Masaharu-san's words were unbelievable. There is nothing I can do. You know, this is a place to cut hair, right? Do you have hair? You know, with this hair, you're causing trouble. You would know if you have some common sense in you. This is a beauty salon, you know. Not a place for plastic surgery. I'm sorry, but I just want to become beautiful. I is there anything you can do? Hmm. Well, if you say it like that, I guess there's one last resort. Really? Last resort? I guess in the end, he's going to cut her hair. Yep. Let's clean it all up. It's disgusting. And with those words, Masaharu-san got out a hair clipper. No! 
the girl in the wheelchair saw that and ran out of the beauty salon in a tremendous speed. Wow, that was fast. What is she? A teke teke? Yeah, because you were so horrible to her. Phew, I successfully defeated the monster. This guy is so low. I don't need you to cut my hair. Don't worry, I will pay the money. Wait, what's wrong, Haru-chan? Haru-chan! Can you stop calling my name like that? You are a disgrace to all the Masaharu. I really felt disgusted. I'm never going to that salon ever again. Why is that place so packed? As I was walking in anger, I found the girl from earlier crying in the corner of the street. Oh, that's the girl from the salon. Hey, you're the girl who was at the Masaharu-san salon, right? Huh? I'm Haru. I'm a YouTuber. And I have a channel about beauty products and cosmetics and... Oh, you're the famous Haru-san? My name is Misa. I was watching your channel every day when I was at the hospital. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, are you here with someone? No, because i ran out of the hospital without telling anyone. Wow, you're an aggressive girl, aren't you? You're looking for a beauty salon, right? Yeah, but there is no place that would do my hair. I know a good place. If it's alright with you, would you like to try it out next time? But don't worry, trust me. And so I brought Misa-chan to this one place. Where is this place? It's a beauty salon and the hairstylist there is really good at his job. You may be stunned a little, but... Huh? Welcome! Wow! A really big guy appeared in front of us. His name is Takeuchi-san, and he's characterized by his very eccentric outfit. Isn't that outfit too much? Look at Misa-chan, she's scared. Hey! So you're Misa-chan. I've heard about you from Haru-chan. Come, this way. Oh, oh welcome, welcome to, to our shop. shop. Wait, hold on. My hair is like this. No problem. Can you make me pretty? Don't worry. I got you. All right, I'm gonna cut it. Please. Takeuchi-san, who had a kind of smile on his face, was totally different from usual. And he actually looked cool. Domain expansion. Oh my god, you too? Takeuchi-san with his super beautiful cutting technique trimmed her hair in the blink of an eye. When he's cutting hair, he looks pretty cool. This hair treatment is made from Puni's acorn who lives in the Soprano forest. It works perfectly well with damaged hair. Puni! So, what do you think? And there is that Misa-chan who Takeuchi-san worked wonders on. Oh my god! Why do you work in a small place like this when you have such great technique? He made a big mistake when he was cutting some actress hair a long time ago. And so, that was kicked out of the salon. Oh, I didn't know. But the truth was, that mistake was actually not his but one of his juniors. But he showed a true valor and said he's the one in charge, so he covered for him. But that junior ended up betraying him. He took the blame and he was kicked out of the salon. That is so stupid. <laughs> what did you call me? Well, when you have a beautiful wife like me, you're happy anywhere at any time. Right, Haru-chan? No comment. What does that mean? Thank you so much. I'm so happy I was able to be this beautiful in the end. Hmm? In the end? That day, Misa-chan went home with a smile on her face. But that was the last time she ever showed her face. I wonder if Misa-chan's going to come back again. I think she needs another train by now. She did say, in the end. Don't tell me she... Hmm? Is someone at the door? Could it be Misa-chan? The person who stood there was someone unexpected. I never imagined you owing a shop in a quiet place like this. I you! Long time no see, brother. He did that little pose again. 
And he finally said the famous line. The person who stood at the door was Masahara-san. There seems to be some kind of feud between them. I thought you were banned from the beauty industry. I never thought you were still working as a hairstylist. Beauty industry? You know him too? Haru-chan, you're here too. You don't know about the mistake he made in the past, do you? This is a great opportunity. I'll tell you all about it, so turn on the camera. You are YouTuber, right? It'll be a great content. But... He threatened me against my own will. I decided to recall the whole thing. I, the respected hairstylist, will tell you all about this brother's past wrongdoings. And so he talked about the case which Takeuchi-san had told us earlier. You see this brother right here. He messed up the hair of a famous actress. He messed up when he was mixing the products for her hair treatment and her hair was seriously damaged. I was at the very scene. Wait, you were at the scene? Don't tell me. The junior who blamed the mistake on Takeuchi-san and made him leave the salon was... I can't believe he's a still hairstylist. That's enough. Dad was forced to quit because you blamed your mistake on him. What? That's some extreme accusation. I don't think it's an accusation at all. I believe Takeuchi-san. What? Why would you believe in a guy like him? The gun in the wheelchair you kicked out a few days ago. Takeuchi-san worked magic on her. Yes? He has zero sense in picking out his outfits, and the customers run away because he's a little gross. But he still trains hard to perfect his cuts even after Karin chan and Casino can call it a night. That's why even though he's a little gross, the number of customers come back is slowly increasing lately, because takeuchi san does know how to get the job done. You, you are defending me, right? She's defending me, right? He's on a level you'll never be able to reach. Well, you got quite the nerve blobbering on. But do you have any proof? I'm the respected hairstylist symbolizing the era. Everyone would believe my words against yours. Just like back then. Oh, that's not going to happen. You, you. It's been a while, everyone. The girl who stood there was Misotan. She didn't have a wheelchair anymore. And she looked very happy. Thank you for taking me in earlier. <laughs> Who are you? This place is for authorized person only, you know. That's not your decision. This is not your beauty salon. Takeuchi-san, thanks to you, I'm alive today. Then Misu-chan talked about what was going on with her back then. She was going to have a difficult surgery done that hung between life and death. Since it could have been the last days of her life, she wanted to be pretty, and that's why she came to the beauty salon. Because Takeuchi-san made me feel pretty, I felt motivated to live again. I recovered so well that even the doctors were surprised. But how dare you talk to my lifesaver like that? Hmm. If you wanted to be pretty, you should have came over to my salon. I'm way better then. I need to go. What? I'm that girl who you called a monster and kicked out. Wait, you're that monster? Th that can't be. There was nothing I could do with your hair. How could brother cut? Hmm? It's the truth, you know. The person who made me beautiful is Takeuchi manager. No, no way. I'm way more skilled than you are. You, who called the customer a monster and kicked out. And Takeuchi-san who made the customer beautiful and is appreciated. The level between you two is obvious. Asahara-san, my mom was angry at you too, you know. She said you damaged her hair before. Oh, my mom is an actress, by the way. And she had her hair done by this guy a long time ago. Oh, I guess the lie was proven then. Do you have anything to say, Masahara-san? You're the daughter? Crap! Stop the camera! Oh, by the way, this is a live stream, so everyone's already seen the whole thing! What? You've always been like that. Only in looking at the surface. No matter how much you patch it up to look good, your skills are not going to improve. Sh shut up! I'm real! 
Misa-chan's case proves it all. If you have the reputation, you'll be able to get by with an okay skill. But when you have to cut someone's hair like hers, that's when your true skills are tested. Uh... Alright, go on now. I'm busy making customers looking beautiful and cool. <laughs> this can't be happening. I'm sorry. Exposing past wrongdoings and shameful behavior on live stream. Masaharu-san soon lost his popularity and ended up closing his shop shortly after. And after that, he soon disappeared. I wonder what he's doing now. Look, Kanade. This is the salon that was on YouTube. The hairstylist is disgusting but so skilled. Oh, really? Whoa, thanks for the compliment. But the disgusting part was unnecessary. <laughs> Misa-chan, who is now healthy and happy, is again getting her hair cut at Takeuchi-san's place this month. 